Hey math lovers I am Jasim if you have an interest in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry properties of circles and chords and the famous pythagoras theorem then here I am ready with an interesting problem Consider a circle now four identical squares are arranged inside the circle as shown in the figure it is given that the side length of each square is 2 units then my problem is what is the radius of the circle if you want to attempt the problem pause the video and just give a try and the solution is right here first we have to analyze the problem we have given that each square inside the circle are identical and having side length 2 units and then one corner of the square number 1 and two corners of the square number 4 are lying on the circle now what exactly is our aim of this problem it is nothing but to find the radius of the circle this is the structure of our problem so always keep in mind before going to the solution we have to note three important properties of circles and chords property number 1 consider a circle and draw a chord now mark the midpoint of that chord and draw another chord that is perpendicular to the first chord through the midpoint then the fact is that this chord is a diameter of the circle or in another way if a diameter perpendicularly cuts a chord then it bisects that chord property number 2 consider a circle and draw two chords which are crossing each other length of each section of them are given as a b c and d as shown in the picture then the fact is that a into b equal to c into d that means the product of sections of both chords are equal property number 3 consider a circle and draw two chords which are in right angle now form a right triangle using these chords then the fact is that the hypotenuse will be a diameter of the circle or in another way if we can place a right triangle inside a circle in such a way that all the three corners lies on the circle then the hypotenuse will be a diameter of the circle coming back to the problem do you have any idea how can we find out the radius if you observe in detail Here we can see a 90 degree angle with the corner lies on the circle. Therefore, by the property 3, if we construct a right triangle using this 90 degree angle, then its hypotenuse will be a diameter. Then as we know, the radius equal to half of the diameter, which is the required answer. So let's proceed in that way. Now, draw the chords AB and CD which cross each other at the point O. Then we have four sections. OA, OB, OC and OD. Clearly OB equal to 8 and OD equal to 2 because we have the side length of each square is 2 units. Now to find the side OC, first note that OP equal to 2 units. Then due to the symmetry, the side PC also equal to 2 units. But why this symmetry? To clear the context, note that CD is a chord. Now draw the diameter that perpendicular to the chord. Therefore, by the property 1, that diameter will cut the chord into equal pieces, which means PC equal to OD, which is equal to 2 units. And therefore, the section OC equal to 4. Now we have the sections OB equal to 8, OD equal to 2, and OC equal to 4. Then how to find OA? observe the chords ab and cd hence by the property 2 we get the product of oa and ob equal to the product of oc and od substituting the values we get oa into 8 equal to 4 into 2 which implies oa equal to 1 now coming back to the actual figure we have bm equal to 2 units and ab equal to 1 plus 8 equal to 9 units Now consider the right triangle ABM. By applying Pythagoras theorem, we get AM square equal to AB square plus BM square. Therefore, AM square equal to 
9 square plus 2 square equal to 81 plus 4 that's equal to 85 that is m equal to square root of 85 now by the property 3 we have am is the diameter of the circle that means diameter equal to root 85 units that is radius of the circle equal to half of diameter which is equal to root 85 by 2 units this value is approximately equal to 4.6978 units and that is the solution we are looking for my gmail id and instagram id are given in the description so if you have any queries regarding the subject please feel free to contact and thank you so much for watching meet you in the next video with another problem